everyone and welcome. My name is Lisa. Today's video, we are in my living room decorating it for Christmas. I have already shown you how I decorated my tree and my hearth and mantle. So today we're going to finish it off and decorate everything else. We are starting with my nativity scene. This is such a special piece to me. I have had it since like 1998, and this is one of the few things I would be super sad if it ever got broken or something happened to it. Decorating is my hobby, and that is something I like to do and share with you, but the real spirit and meaning behind Christmas is the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm using this Norfolk pine greenery and some lights to anchor my nativity scene down to the table and just give it kind of that center stage look here. And I think the greenery and the lights do that very well. If you've joined me in and around my home for a while, you know that my TV and this TV console table used to be in the corner where my Christmas tree is. I wanted to change things up this year, so I moved my Christmas tree from my entry into this corner and then pushed my TV flat on this wall and my husband mounted it. It's a completely different look. I still have some cord management to do. After Christmas, I'm going to need something to fill that blank corner where the Christmas tree is right now. The other end of my TV console, I'm going to build a little vignette to take up this empty space. Here on this riser, just some simple things. I really splurged on this candle. I don't think I have ever spent $25 on a candle before, so this better be really good. But I was looking for a large green candle, and this happened to be the one that I could find. So... Oh my goodness. I will have it linked if you're interested, but $25 is a lot. Have some simple velvet ribbon in this moss green and taupe color from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use it to tie a little bow around this brass book end. I was on the fence in my Walmart video if I should get that brass uh, elk candle holder and then I remembered I have these bookends so I took one of them and although it doesn't hold candles in the antler it gives a very similar look and since I spent all my money on that candle I didn't spend a thing on this. Not really. I'm joking. I think you know but oh my goodness I'm hung up on that candle. Can you tell? Good thing I thrifted this candle snuffer for only $6.50. It was very pretty. It was dirty when I got it and had wax all over it, but I cleaned it up and it looks like new. For Christmas, I'm filling this empty space and hiding the plug and cords with this a little cashmere Christmas tree I had. I took it and put it in a basket that I used for some of my other faux greenery trees and plants. That really dressed it up instantly. I did not think it had enough lights. It came pre-lit. So I'm just going to put another strand of Christmas lights on here so that it is nice and full and bright, giving that ambiance off, especially at night. This unfinished wood nutcracker came from Michael's. I'm on the fence if I want to DIY or not. What do you think I should do? To camouflage these media cubbies until I can find a new console table, I'm just going to layer in my Mackenzie Childs platter with some greenery and then I have a collection of wooden Christmas trees that I have gathered up throughout the year and then I added a few new ones this year from Walmart. 
all together. They're a little bit different and interesting and fun. So when you group them together, it just creates a nice little vignette. Some of these are even Christmas ornaments and Christmas package toppers, but you just cut those strings off or those hooks and it works as a table decor. Keeping the bottom cubby very simple as well, I'm just going to use this gold bowl with some greenery and then my oversized sugar pine cones just to fill in that cavernous space. Again, it's dark in here and it's hard to display anything. If I was keeping this, I would add some lighting back here to light up these shelves, but since it is going to be replaced soon, there's no need to spend the effort and time on that. So for now, this will make it look nice and pretty for Christmas. This brass antler is really a stocking holder, but I'm just going to use it as a shelf sitter here. This next table is actually our Fur Baby Raiders dog kennel, and I'm going to be very careful with what I put on here because if he stands up and moves around, sometimes it jostles the top and the decor that's on it. But I'm going to layer this wicker basket with this juniper wreath and then set my lamp down in it. That just brings some of nature and greenery into this corner. When you have several of one type of items, it's a great look when you group them all in one spot. It makes it look cohesive. And even if you just have two or three, four of those items, you can put them together in a collection on one vignette and it looks really nice. So that is what I'm doing with these light up domes. They are really pretty wood carved inside. And then I have another little nativity statue here with Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. I'm thinking I might want to make over this natural wood nutcracker that is also a countdown to Christmas. I kind of like it with the natural wood though, so let me know. Should I make it over? And if I did, would you want to see it? This elk statue came from Walmart, my Texas house last year. It is silver. They have one this year that is bronze if you're interested in, in having a similar look. I also picked up this faux fur blanket from Walmart. It was $24.95 and this is where I'm stuck on the candle. You can buy a candle that you're going to burn and never use again for the same price as this fur blanket that I will use for many, many months. It's insanity. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did it and here we are. <laughs> It feels so nice to have my entire living room all put together and decorated for Christmas now. I have my tree, my mantle, and all my living room Christmas decor. It is so nice at night when the lights are off and you just have the twinkling glow of the Christmas tree lights on the tree, the mantle, and the tables. I'm so glad that y'all all joined me for today's video and I hope you got a lot of inspiration and decorating ideas for your own home. Maybe you can use them in your living room or maybe you have another space in your home that they would be perfect for. And if you don't have a mantle, you could easily turn this console table into a mantle, have your stockings hanging. Be creative and think outside of the box. We definitely like to be unique here at Uniquely Lisa. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate that thumbs up. 
And I invite you to hit that subscribe bar, ring that notification bell so you can come back for the next video. Until I see you then, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.